Chaz, chop, whatever you want to call it, up in Seattle. It's finished, it's over. It lasted about three and a half weeks. We hardly knew you. We're going to talk that tonight on the report from Tiger Mountain. Chaz, we hardly knew you. What happened, ladies and gentlemen? We had, it was the summer of love, apparently. It was going to be the summer of love. Up there in Seattle, that lovely northern city in America. You know, it was going to be like a paradise. The, the, the Black Lives Matter movement took over about, I don't know, eight to ten blocks of Seattle. And uh, Antifa moved in there and all the social justice warriors, they all went there to start a wonderful new society. And, um, well, you know, what happened? Um, within three weeks, uh, we had uh, robbery first. We had a, a vegetable garden that got stomped all over that couldn't produce so much as one tomato. We had uh, rape. Originally the guy found it. Um, Chaz was a rapist. It was revealed he was some kind of transgender rapist. And he uh, went off and uh, he said he wanted to kill himself. I don't know what happened to him. And then some kind of like warlord, some African-American warlord took over called Raz, apparently who was arrested recently. <laughs> we'll talk about him later. And, uh, and then there was murders started happening. And, um, you know, I think Donald Trump was very wise. Uh, in a way to let this play out. He knew exactly what was going to happen. He knew within three or four weeks the place would descend into absolute anarchy. There were people being murdered there um, who were like, you know, crying out for the police. And of course there were no police because that was the whole, what it was all about. They wanted to get rid of the police. They took over a group, a bunch of land that was near um, a police station in Seattle and they made it their own autonomous zone. And yes, they had murders, rapes, robbery. It was just all going on. It was just a complete disaster. That's what happens when you get rid of the police, ladies and gentlemen. I think Donald Trump was very smart. You know, he could have sent in the uh, National Guard in there to close it down. He could have, you know, been a, you know, like stomped, stomped on everything, but he didn't do that. No, he, he let it play out and he knew one day that the, the, the people in chairs or chop would come for the Democrats themselves. And that's exactly what happened. They went to the mayor's house and they began to make demands to her that were unreasonable to her, um, even though she allowed it to exist in the first place. And then, of course, they threatened to go to her mansion and burn it down and, and loot it or whatever. And then instantly, you know, she sent the police in to shut down Chop. So that was that, you know what I mean? And of course, the great, um, I guess you would call it, conclusion to the whole thing was the, the warlord or the guy who was sort of the police force inside there. Of course, you know, once they set up their own autonomous society, they, they established their own police force, which was kind of a gangster African-American situation. And they began to build walls and they had people with machine guns on the front door. They had borders, they had everything, you know. So they began to imitate the very things that they were criticizing, which is absolutely hilarious. And, um, you know, and the guy was being arrested, crying like a bitch as he was being taken off. I don't know what, how much jail time he will get for constructing um, uh, an autonomous zone in the middle of Seattle. But I imagine on Donald Trump. Um, that's probably going to be life in prison, ladies and gentlemen. So he has good reason to cry because he'll be dropping the soap and having a very good time in his own autonomous zone, which will be his prison cell for the next 30 years. So that was it, ladies and gentlemen. Um, Chaz, it came and went. We hardly knew you. And it was hilarious. Thank you for watching.